Good morning. Donna, how are you? This morning is Donna's surgery, and she's going to have a paniculectomy or removal of this huge amount of overhanging skin and tissue uh, from her abdomen, waist, and hips. I've got to draw some marks on you so that I'll know how to do this, uh, because when you lie down, it's very different. There you go. Do you realize that that may be the last time you ever have to get yourself and then this thing out of bed? Yes. <laughs> that may be the last time you ever have to do I that. I can't wait. I'm ready for surgery. I feel happy. I'm just anxious to go in and come out. You're, you're going to hold that part and hold it up as much as you can. Now, can you get it a little bit lower? And if we hurt you, let us know. Yes, and then this needs to go up. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Donna has such a disability from this excess skin in terms of her inability to sit, walk, sleep, wear underwear, all these things. Removing this is really going to allow her to have a lot more normal life and just do a lot of the things we take for granted. That's it. I just need to get in that little fold. That's it. I'm looking forward after my surgery that I could be mobile. I could walk around more, play with my girls, you know, get out there and do everything that I've wanted to do all this time. I hear you lost 17 pounds yes. since between the last time I saw you. Yes. At this rate, you're going to be about that big in three more months. <laughs> well, I think this is really going to help you lose a lot more of the weight and just be able to do more. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go downstairs and get my stuff ready, and we'll get you ready and take it from there, okay? All righty. We'll have a lot of challenges with Donna. One is going to be simply being able to lift this large amount of skin and tissue up in the air, so we're going to have to have some special instruments. And, of course, uh, there's a huge amount of tissue we're going to be removing with big blood vessels, so we're going to be very mindful of bleeding uh, for this case. I've never seen a patient with the amount of overhanging tissue that Donna has. This is really just an extreme amount of excess skin. I am worried about leaving any skin folds that may fold over and cause her uh, healing problems after surgery. So we may not know until we actually start the surgery if we're going to be able to get a lot of this side fold out of the way, which I was kind of hoping for. This is going to be a cut as you go, and we're going to have to find, figure out some of this as we go. So we're going to start this case off with our system to hold this out of the way. All right, so what we have now is a very solid system, and we can use this bar to suspend her. Okay, let's start off uh, with a 10 blade, please. And we're starting the surgery off as we kind of expected, a little bit working horizontally. What normally takes us about two minutes in a standard patient has taken us at about 15 minutes in her simply to get down to her abdominal wall and this is the kind of the most uh, difficult part of it found the usual big bleeders that we expected and uh, we're going to get up to her belly button which is I think the level that the skin is going to be cut off and then actually start doing the top cut which is going to remove most of this tissue that she has hemostat please moving right along let's put this back down Ugh. Roll that towards you so I can mark this. Uh-huh, that's good. Well, it's nice to see that the mark that I drew this morning is going to line up just about with where I want that. So my estimation, just eyeballing with her standing up, is just about right. It's off by maybe about an inch and a half. So that's about where I was hoping to cut it, and as it turns out, that is where we are going to cut it. Normally we split it in two, but she's got such a huge vertical distance, I, I don't want to make that gigantic long vertical cut. All right. I've caught tuna way more than this. And we go. All right. 32.2. This is all going to come together. Obviously, her abdomen is going to be a lot flatter with no overhang. She's still left with a significant amount of skin off to the sides, but our goal of accomplishing removal of this 32 pounds of skin has all been satisfied, and uh, we'll be ready to uh, get this closed up at this point. Well, that is a lot more normal-looking abdomen, that is for sure. Got a belly button that you can see. She'll be able to wear underwear now, I think. Well, the main part of the closure has been done. She's got just a few more stitches to put in, and uh, she'll be all finished. I'm always kind of compelled to try to make it look as good as I can. We really had to resist that urge today. Uh, today was, was really a reconstructive surgery, and it wasn't so much a cosmetic. In another year, when Donna's weight is all off, I'm sure she'll be back, and we'll be talking about really giving her a nicer shape.